David Bowie, Quincy Jones, um, um, New Order, uh, UB40, Ooh, Bjork, um, oh, our, yeah. and more. We do a lot of remixes. A lot of them were collaborations on our own albums. We, do, we have been commissioned to do a lot of remixes in our time. And we've turned quite a lot down as well. You know? So you've not been, you say you've not been sitting in the studio with all these people. A lot of them you just get. The sometimes, track. yeah. Sometimes not. You know, um, with the stuff like Bjork was on our own album, so we did it in the studio with her. A lot of times we'll just get the tapes, we'll do the remixes, and then the people say, "Yeah, we like it. Let's go with it." Mm. But it's I think, nice. I, think I much prefer it when they're in the studio with you because there's more mm. sort of an exchange going yeah. on. It shakes you out of your normal sort of routine. Yeah, that know. was brilliant though, when you guys did that Bjork thing because I was like such a big Sugar Cube fan. All of a sudden she just jumped into the dancing. I was like, yes, yeah. brilliant. Brilliant. Love that. But I mean, she just does it so instantly as well, and we did that about two tunes in one day. Yeah, she, she came into the studio, song. we gave her a Walkman, she put the Walkman on, she walked out of the studio in the rain, walked around this place near Manchester, and came back with the lyrics. Walked up the stairs and said, I've got the lyrics. It's, it's she walked one, into the booth and went bang. And we went, it's often one of the elements that's missing out of techno is that spontaneity goes, you know, and it's nice to put people like that in amongst it. Mm. Same with like Bernard like from that. New Order, it was just walk into the studio, let me hear the tune. Right, what do you think? You throw ideas across and it's going to the vocal booth and putting the lyrics down, bang, bang. That's how we like to work. It's like working with samples. When we, when we borrow people's samples and we play around with them, it's like just, just borrowing a piece of that person and giving it a new environment and Don't putting it in a dance club. We pay. Yeah, we pay. We pay yeah, heavily. Yeah, we pay heavily. 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 Yeah. Big it's loads of money. Like. Is that difficult though? Because what I always see with like, people who make dance music, as soon as like a singer comes in, they're really lost because it's not, you know, you can't just press a button and go, no, produce this little note here. And mm. isn't it sometimes difficult to kind of, oh, you, of course, I think everybody don't even have to guide, they just do their own thing. I think we're quite good at songs because we don't have a vocalist. So when you put someone in to do a song, it's like, you know, it's a new experience. It's like, yeah. The vocalists I mean, we've used have been really good though. So you I mean, you're talking VR, you know, yeah. but, uh, you know, a lot of people we've used and you've gone, we'll, we'll only work with people that we, we can work with. We have been asked to work with other people and we've said, well, maybe not, and we'll work on some of our own stuff, you know, so it's, it's, it's having the choice, which I think has been the good thing. That's why we've been around for so long, is we've, we've been able to choose the right thing, and we know what, hopefully we know what works in, in dance clubs, yeah. you know, so. Is it true that you had some problems with David Bowie over, over his sample, that you had to pay enormous amounts of money, is that, is that a bit true yeah. or not? It's never a problem with David Bowie, it's always a problem with David Bowie's lawyer yeah. rather than anything else. I mean, we ended up, I mean, after that incident, we ended up sort of right, remixing Sound and Vision for him and everyone was quite happy about it. Mm. So, so what, about, what about your views on sampling? It's open, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people making money out of sampling nowadays and mm. sampling, when done properly, is very creative. And very, you know, you, you can really mess around with it and come up with something really, really good. And um, I think it's still our main instrument, but there's like a thousand and one different ways of using it. You know, it's mm. not it's not that obvious corny way of like like pump up the volume you used to do. Yeah. You know, it's gone way beyond that now. You know, and I, and I think and I think dance music now has gone global anyway. You know, you can hear a tune and you don't know where it's come from. And you can hear a great sample, whether it be a, an old David Bowie sample. Or a, or a Rolling Stone sample, you can use it in any way, shape or form. And that's what makes dance music so creative. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to have a look at it right now. Um, I think it's the UB40 track you did that's going to come up. First up though, The Only Rhyme, Let's Bites. Bring you 